an incredibly big pan of water. Well done, see? An incredibly big pan of water. She knows how to cook pasta. Please tell Gordon, always use a large pot of water when you cook pasta. Eggs, butter, cheese, cream, lemons. What? Okay, now I lost it. You can't tell me that in Sicily or Amalfi they use cream and they use eggs. It's not a carbonara. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook delicious Italian food. We are reacting to Nigella Lawson, beautiful woman, very elegant. But what about the food? She's so famous for a food, or maybe she's famous for a look, I don't know. Let's see if she can make the easiest pasta on the planet. Lemon pasta, it's easier than spaghetti alle olio. I have a recipe on my YouTube channel, you can watch it. It's beautiful, it's delicious, it's easy, and you will love it. And I, I do use mint as a new ingredient that is not authentic. And trust me, it's delicious. It's hard to think of food that's faster to cook than pasta. And my lemon linguine is incredibly fast. Of course it's easy. All you need is lemon, extra virgin olive oil, pasta, cheese, and love. an incredibly big pan of water. Well done, see? An incredibly big pan of water. See, Nigella, well done, you know this. She knows how to cook pasta. Please tell Gordon, always use a large pot of water when you cook pasta. And the pasta should boil. I'm gonna salt it now. I don't salt it before because the water actually comes to the bar faster if it hasn't got salt in it. Well done, my god, Nigella, well done, I love this. Always wait for the water to boil and then you put one tablespoon of salt. It is very important, otherwise it takes longer, she's right. Italians say that the uh, water you cook pasta in should be as salty as the Mediterranean, which is such a wonderful poetic idea in sort of life, food, culture, everything, all in one. Oh, I love it, I know why everybody loves Nigella, it's just lovely to listen to you, I love your voice, the way you speak. Salt gives flavor to your pasta. You're not eating that salty water, so give flavor to your pasta. I love linguine. I mean, you can use any long pasta, it really wouldn't matter. But the point about this is that it's it's thicker than spaghetti, but not as wide as telly telly. Oh my gosh, she's so amazing when she speaks. I love it. I want to keep watching your videos. So the sauce, hmm. eggs, butter, cheese, cream, lemons. What? Okay, now I lost it. Cheese, eggs, cream, what are you talking about? And you said lemon last. Lemon is the most important ingredient. Extra virgin olive oil or butter. Butter is okay. Guys, this is a beautiful dish that comes from the Amalfi Coast and from Sicily. Sicily especially, the biggest producer of lemons in the world. And they have the best lemons on the planet. Now, you can't tell me that in Sicily or Amalfi, they use cream and they use eggs. It's not a carbonara. We're not making carbonara, Nigella. So I don't know where you're going right now. Now, I don't want the whites of these, but I find it much easier just to separate the eggs, cradling them from one hand to the other, rather than in the shell, which is Oh, she's using the Jamie Oliver technique. I like it. Jamie Oliver always uses hands, and I like this technique. It's very nice. The reason I'm eating it like this is because I really want it to get a bit sort of frothier and richer and also bring out this, to emulsify almost, I suppose, like I was making mayonnaise. But it's nothing as complicated as that. I just don't understand what she's doing. I mean, I love her accent and the way she's speaking, so she's making me love this video. But I don't really know if she's making lemon pasta because now I'm confused. She's actually making carbonara. And to aid this, some cheese. I don't think you don't need to measure this, just grate in as much as you want. That's right, don't measure it. Even though you're making a carbonara mix, but yeah, don't measure it. Carbonara needs lots of cheese. Cream. Now, I'm not adding too much, just enough to make the sauce kind of swathe the pasta. But what's the need for this cream? What's the need to make this beautiful Mediterranean dish? What is the need? to put the cream in there. Rather than drown it. It's rich, but it's delicate, which is the best combination. Now my favorite bit, the lemon. I love the way when you zest lemons, you can smell it as you do it. I, use I love the flavor of lemon. I just love the flavor of lemon. It's so beautiful. Not of the zest, because I think that's the best part of the flavor, better even than the juice. 
I agree, I agree. The zest is the best part of the lemon. It's so good. When I make my ricotta cannoli cream for cannoli, I put so much lemon zest because I do love that beautiful flavor in my mouth. Now again, really add as much or as little lemon juice as you like. I think just half a lemon is fine. I sometimes do put a whole lemon. Mm, I put the whole lemon, my friend. I don't care what, for one person, I put one lemon. That's why I don't put cream. Lemon is my, is my sauce. Lemon gives the flavor. So fragrant, so comforting. Let me tell you, she's not doing anything wrong. This pasta, it's so far, it's beautiful, creamy, it's nice, but it's not the lemon pasta I had in mind. It's not the Mediterranean lemon pasta she was talking about before when she said, oh, you know, Mediterranean Italians like to put salt in the in the water, so it reminds of the Mediterranean Sea. This pasta should be very light and simple, not creamy. I haven't added any salt because I think the parmesan is quite salty enough. And um, no pepper for a very good reason. This is harmonious, calm, voluptuous and creamy. I think pepper would interrupt that. Suddenly you get this speck of sharp pepper. That's not what I want. Oh my God, I love the way she speaks. The way she describes it. She's incredible. I'm not going to use pepper anymore in my life. <laughs> it's true, it's true. No pepper, no pepper. But he kind of made a carbonara mix. The pepper, maybe. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. I just love the sound in this video. I like there's no music. I like the lighting. It's, you know, even though it's an old video, it looks really nice. So I've drained it. Now I'm putting butter on because the butter shouldn't strip the sauce from clinging to it. In fact, that's a lot of butter. That's a lot of butter. It should almost seem to meld more with the sauce in a minute. But the really important thing is that you don't do this on the heat because what you don't want is kind of lemony scrambled eggs. You want really gooey, unctuous sauce. Very important. It's like making carbonara, same thing. I would have used extra virgin olive oil simply because it's my favorite, it's the healthiest. Just put extra virgin olive oil in there and put the spaghetti. Well, I would probably warm up the extra virgin olive oil then put the spaghetti in so they keep cooking in there and and then you add the mix you know but of course switch off the heat but you put the mix the cream mix when the heat is off with the warm oil and the warm pasta mm. Mm. i'm leaving some sauce back because i want to put some on what is in the bowl it does look very nice. It does look look very, very nice, I have to say. I like that beautiful lemon creamy sauce. It's beautiful. Well, I mean, that's it. And how fast is that? I mean, it's the sort of food you can really, really make when you're so stressed out. That's the idea of cooking makes you want to shriek. It's true, so true. The only thing why I'm reacting to this is because it's called Easy Lemon Linguini, but... The thing is, you need to let people understand that it's not the authentic version. And again, you can do what you want, you can be creative. I mean, I put mint in my lemon pasta, which you have to watch my video, okay? It's up here. But you can be creative, but you need to remember that it's not a lemon pasta anymore what you're doing. It's half carbonara, half lemon pasta, half something else. So call it creamy lemon linguine my way. Because I don't want people that follow you to think that this is what they eat in Sicily. I'm sure now, because people have been watching your videos, people in Sicily maybe made it. I'm going to make it because it's beautiful. But just let people understand how the original version is made first. And then you can make something else. And it smells so wonderful. It smells like the lemon grapes of a monkey or something. But with the cream in it there, it's just that mellowness, which means you just feel like you're eating liquid velvet. And the last bit, which is I just want to put a teeny bit more lemony emulsion. Just pour it on, just to coat it, so it just... I'm happy with that emulsion. I'm very happy. But the thing is, you have to remember, the egg hasn't been cooked, which is okay. I'm sure it's a good egg. The pasta at this point is not hot anymore, so it's not really going to cook your egg. So that's something you need to be a little bit worried. I might be wrong, you know, I'm not a master chef, I'm not a Michelin star chef, I might be wrong, but I prefer always to cook my egg with the cream, you know, like in a carbonara, I like prefer to make sure it's cooked, it's not raw. It looks as wonderful as it will taste. It's gonna do a final smattering of cheese, just a slight hint, just to pick up the depth in the sauce. Yeah, I agree, I always put a lot of cheese in there. 
and just because I find the freshness is so spring-like with the lemons, some parsley. Yeah, parsley is beautiful, why not? Look, I have to say that basil is probably the best thing to bring up the flavors of the lemon. Basil and lemon go out together. Parsley doesn't have a strong flavor, it just gives the color to your dish. Um, I use mint because, in my opinion, both parsley and basil doesn't give you what you want and the mint really brings the flavors out of the lemon, you know? That's why I believe the mint gives the color and the beautiful flavors. And I always like to put zest on top of my pasta. Lemon zest. I want to eat my lemon zest. I want my lemon zest to replace the Parmesan cheese. That's what I want. This is just the quick way, and I quite like having the pasta rather big, and it, like it's another ingredient, not just a decoration. Again, you know, I see people just adding the green because you need green color. And this pasta would have been fine without the mint or without the parsley or without the basil. But I guess we always need to have a visual effect of a dish. That just goes amazing. Amazing, I have to say, Nigella is a very good entertainer. Nice cook, very nice recipe, nothing wrong with this recipe. Again, I just wish you show me the original way because it's the healthiest. This is creamy, buttery, nothing wrong with it. We all love this stuff, but it's important to keep the traditions alive and show people the authentic way, okay? So again, if you wanna watch my video, watch it. It's not authentic when I add the mint. It's my extra ingredient, the mint, because I believe it takes the flavor to the next level. So if you remove the mint, it's the most authentic version you can get. Let me know how you go. We'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video reaction. Thank you so much for watching this episode. E ora si mangia. Nigella's Plate. <laughs> Thank you, Nigella. Thank you so much. Hopefully, I'll get to meet you in person one day. You're my favorite English chef, together with Jamie Oliver. <laughs>